Good afternoon, and thank you for joining the Refreshing Point. I hope that you are doing well. Today I will be sharing a situation with you that I had encountered this weekend, with sprouted seeds inside my squash. I had witnessed an occurrence similar to vivipari this weekend. I purchased an organic squash, and when I cut it open, to my surprise, I found that most of the seeds inside had sprouted. At first I was a little disappointed, since I usually like to lightly toast and eat them. But then I thought, don't let a good opportunity go to waste. I took the sprouted seeds and planted them in pots, since it is a little too cold for me to plant them directly outside. We will see what becomes of this. Even though the squash was over-ripened, we did eat it. Some of the flavor did appear to be lost, but seasoning took care of that. What took place in my situation was not vivipari, since the seeds sprouted due to over-ripening and not while the fruit was still attached to the mother plant. However, the dormancy status of many seeds is determined by the ratio of two plant hormones, ABA and GA, present in the seed's embryo. High GA to ABA ratio will result in a release of dormancy by giving the embryo of the seed the growth potential necessary to break through the seed's harder outer coat. Normally, GA to ABA ratio is balanced so that germination doesn't occur until excess ABA is degraded or leached out after sowing. But sometimes, as in an overripe squash, ABA degrades during the ripening process, making the GA to ABA ratio high enough that the seed will germinate while still in the fruit. I have also had this happen to me one time with a tomato. In addition, I have heard from other people that they have seen bell peppers with sprouted seeds inside. It is also possible for a bell pepper to begin to form new fruit inside the old one, without the seeds even germinating. Chayote squash naturally goes through vivipari. This occurs when the single large seed starts protruding out the end of the squash, as the squash ages and shrinks a bit from losing water. A root node can be seen developing as the seed moves out, and especially if it sits on moist soil, shoots will form and a new plant starts growing. The seed can be removed, but it is subject to drying out too fast. This squash needs a very long season. They are grown in climates like Hawaii and Australia. The mangroves is another place that you can witness vivipari taking place. The mangroves grow along the water-land interface, thus the seeds would not germinate if submerged all the time. The seeds will germinate while on a tree, and then they will fall off around the time when they can float on the water, and develop into a new plant once they reach land. This just proves how amazing Mother Nature can be. Have you ever encountered a fruit or vegetable with sprouted seeds inside? If so, what was it? As always, thank you for watching. Good day and good health.